What's going on guys? Welcome to another standard video here. Uh, this is another deck critique. This was submitted by uh, Chef to Chief, uh, YouTube's uh, Twitch subscriber and uh, viewer. And uh, this is a standard deck that he presented and said, I'm not, you know, I don't think, I, I'm not a deck expert <laughs> by any means. Let me actually see exactly what he said so I don't misquote here. Um, long time magic player inspired to try, inspired by Dominator to try standard again. Um, inspired by you and your positive attitude toward the game. Thanks for all the great content on YouTube. Uh, first, I would ask at first glance, would you consider the concept worth developing and testing? It, if it has potential, let me know. Excited to hear what you think. And I like so the thing is like, this deck looks cool. This is right up my alley. This is turn three guys that get lands. I don't like Skittering Surveyor that much, even though it gets a land, because we're not looking to get lands. We're looking to put lands into play. So off the bat, I would cut these and put um, something like beneath the sands in the deck like i'm gonna i'm gonna look i'm looking at what this deck wants to do and i'm trying to cater to that um the reason we have only basics is because all of our cards get basics like grow from the ashes skittering surveyor and spring to mind um this is also a deck where i wonder if we just want hour of promise like i think we can take the surveyors out and put hour of promise in I also think we can put some number of deserts in so we can get those zomboys. The enchantment that taps for double and, and gets double is very good. But this is this might actually be better than that. Because you can play it on three and you can play it on five, which is pretty sweet. Um, so we'll see. The question is, what deserts are we going to add? Up desert advanced type D S E R T. All right, let's see what we got here. I assume by draw three you mean gain three, um, but but yeah, I mean like this this being able to get two lands is significantly better. It gets us two lands or one lands. It's the versatility of being able to play it on three or on five is very very good. So, keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna put two deserts of. I'm just gonna look for. I'm just gonna search for desert here. I guess I could just do that. That seems easier. And I mean, that is a function that will work on Magic Online, whereas some sometimes that won't. I'm gonna put two desert of the Indomitable over two forests. The thing is, we're never gonna run it. Actually, I don't want any any green lands to come into play tapped. So. I guess four has Shep Oasis it is. I never want to have to play a green source tapped on turn one because of Llanowar, Llanowar Elf. Is Rami Never Ruins banned in standard? Oh, it is. Wow, that's so weird to me. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Um, I'm not, I think an arch could be fine, but I don't know our odds of ever hitting. I guess we'd hit, we'd have 10 lands is more than anything. And we can search for it with, um, yeah, I can see one arch. I like that. It gives us something to do. Uh, I don't care about Hostile Desert. One Deadlands can be good. One Rivulet is fine. I'm mostly just putting deserts. I mean, I don't, I don't see us having tons of use for these deserts, but I just think they're good to have in the deck. Um, what was the other? There's, there's definitely a scavenger grounds. We'll put one scavenger grounds over one forest, and I think that's a good addition to the lands. Added arch, take out that. Um, so his original list suggests fifteen forests. So we should have four or five. We should have ten. Okay, so we do. What did I add that is not... Hmm, interesting. So 
So now we're at 61 cards. Do we start at 61 cards? I actually don't know. Nope, total 60. Okay, 25 lands should be in here. So what did I miss? There are three swamps, so we have two. Oh, we put out a scavenger grounds. Okay, scavenger grounds is the other colorless land that we added, so we can take out one forest. We're cutting out all the green sources, but I mean this is still thirteen sources to come into play t untapped on turn one. I mean, we might just want another rivulet instead of an island. We'll add another forest. Yeah, I think that's better. And we never need more than one black. Well, I guess we need two for, for this. I mean, we need two for Karn's Temporal Sundering. It's still one too many lands, unfortunately. Uh, 14 green sources now. Actually, this should be enough deserts. That should be fine. One, two, was this seven deserts? If we hit one of them, we can search for the other two. That's totally fine. The problem is not being able to, uh, if we have to search for like a white source and we can't get a desert to do it, or we have to search for a red source and there is no red desert in standard. I guess, I mean, Desert of the Fervent is an option. Um, I actually think we only want one Nicol Bolas. I like Nicol Bolas a lot, but I think we do want Vile Offering in the deck. There's just a lot of Planeswalkers. And there's legendary creatures as well. Um, I feel like one Karn is ambitious. I'm going to add Negates to the sideboard. And... Appetite seems good. One, two, three Appetites. I do like a Muldrotha here, actually. That's pretty good. I also like Sunbird's Invocation a lot. I feel like that should be something else. Not something else, but I feel like there should be more of them. I almost don't like Nyssa just because Nyssa is... Um, it's bad to hit off of Sunbird's Invocation. Uh, I don't want to cut the Legendary Dragon. I don't want to cut any of the cards that really make the deck feel like what it feels like. So... Yeah, and this is a mana sink, right? Which is why I'm reluctant to cut there. That's, I mean... Um, I don't hate Tezzeret here. I do like... I'm going to add one Muldrotha just for the heck of it. <laughs> Your authorization code at, fi at 211. That's amazing. Hold on. That's amazing. All right. Well, that's funny to me. Uh, Thran Temporal Gateway seems a little rough. Like, I'd rather... I could just cast these things. Plus, it gives them something to kill. Maybe one Tezzeret over one Nyssa. I like that a little better. Um, I can see cutting one grow from the ashes just so we have a thing... I mean, I'd rather have I'd rather have a ravenous chupacabra than a than a noxious gear hulk just for. Butt hats, just me. Definitely would not cut Tefri or Oath of Tefri. N neither of those seem like good decisions to make. One card to cut. I want to put. I want to put one of Braid in the sideboard, but I think we need... I think it is a necessary evil. Maybe one grow from the ashes? Maybe one spring to mind? Sure. That seems fine. I can deal with seven... Seven of these. Um... I'm going to add one more Contempt to the sideboard. I don't know what our... our I think aggressive matches are probably going to be bad for us. It seems like it's ambitious to get two white sources, especially because we only have one planes in the deck, so I don't think that's going to be good. I also don't think Sweltering Suns is where you want to be. Bolus is right here. So we need like a black 
way to deal with early creatures. Why not Hour of Promise instead of Girlfriend? We have Hour of Promise right here. I don't understand your question. Urza's Ruinous Blast could be interesting. All of our permanents are legendary, actually. I like that a lot, actually. Let's say three Urza's Ruinous Blast. Oh, I'll say two because I only have two right now, and I don't know how good it's going to be, so... Yeah, Fatal Push is fine as like a two of. We're just gonna bring in all of our all of our removal once we get the chance. Uh I'd rather have Yehenny's expertise than Golden Demise because it lets us cast like a Girl from the Ashes or a If you cast you can cast the spring half, right? I don't know. Either way, it lets you cast something, which is really the point. And it deals with bigger creatures. Yeah, we'll add three of those, and we'll call that our sideboard for now. I don't think we need the Spring of the Mind in the sideboard, actually. That seems a little a little weird. <laughs> Walls for early defense? What is this, 1997? Hmm. Well, we haven't dropped any frames, so I assume it might be you, Chef to Chief. Anyway, um, gotta cut one card. I don't know what it could be. That treasure wall. It might just be Girl from the Ashes, actually. I think Spring Divine's probably better more often than not, despite the fact that the land comes into play untapped. <laughs> Add one Inferno. I think we're good right now. I want to play this and we'll see how it does right now. Because that's the that's the test. Like, if the deck does fine, then we're good. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. If we can top deck a Lana War Elf, this hand is actually really good. It's okay anyway. Call the gate watches. Are you thinking deploy the gate watch? Because that was a uh, that was literally an oath of the gate watch card, as you might expect. So we can go spring into grow or spring into Teferi. Both those are pretty good. Mm. If we hit one of the white or aforementioned white or blue. Oh, Ravnica's all about the Gatewatch? I actually did not know that. I will take two. I uh, guess we get a blue first because reasons. 
Next turn we can hour, but we don't get any zombos unless we draw one desert here. One desert. Desert one time. That's not a desert, but it's a Teferi. Yeah, this deck is not going to be fun. So we can Teferi this guy, otherwise we die, right? They have eight energy at, at the very least. All right, well, we trade a Teferi for an Electrostatic Pummeler, kind of. It's not super fulfilling, but it is what it is. Yep. It's actually not terrible. So I guess we get an if near Deadlands and what other desert do we get? Oasis. Can't get a white. We have a red. We have double blue. I don't think Scavenger Grounds is irrelevant. Yeah, we'll just get two deserts. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, fight with fire would be sick here, right? We just fight with fire. Everything. <laughs> oh, it gives trample. How nice. I'm sure we're dead. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game by any means, but... Yeah, we'd have to retweak the mana base, obviously. But, I mean, we don't have Fight with Fire, so we're not talking about a real situation right now. Does this do anything right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight, so we can use five of it to get two. We'd have five left over. We're too shy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could actually use Grove for one. Planical Bolas kill this, and then we're dead to these two. I don't know why we're even. This guy kills us by himself, so does this guy, so. All right. All right, so Fatal Push should definitely come in. The problem is knowing what to cut in decks like this because you never want to actually get rid of your good stuff. I don't think I don't think Nissa does anything. The more I play with Nissa, the less excited I am by ever having Nissa in my in my deck. Bring in the Veraska's Contempt too. Cut two cards. We'll cut Oath of Teferi because it's just kind of cute at this point. And. If we have Oath of Teferi, I also kind of like one Ravenous Chupacabra in the deck because it's just good.
Uh, I don't know if this is a deck where we're gonna actually have creatures on, uh, have planeswalkers survive long enough to play Urza's Ruinous to play a planeswalker, not have it die, and then play an Urza's Ruinous Blast the following turn. I don't actually I think that's magical Christmas land. <clears throat> Like if we if we can play a planeswalker and it survives and we don't die, we're probably already winning. Always kill that dude. Fashion late to the party, Land War Elf. Fashionably late to the party. Well, I kind of want to get a red because we have no other red sources, even though I do want a blue because then we can spring next turn. And we have a significant amount of cards that need one red. The problem is I don't think spring is actually good enough to warrant getting a blue here because... Um... While this is good, unless we actually have all the colors, like it shuts off a significant part of our deck. So that's probably going to kill us. That's pretty good. And we have no permanent types in our graveyards, so that's pretty cool, but uh, we are not really close to Ifnering. We have we two two more black sources. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Does Muldrotha have reach? Does it have anything at all? I don't think so. Actually, maybe I don't like Muldrotha because we don't have very many permanents to go to the graveyard, right? Like, I mean, if they kill a bunch of our... I wonder if Multani is actually a better card in this deck. That's interesting. I'm actually going to attack here. We can't block this guy, and we can always just chump block this guy if we have to. One of the big problems with Karn's Temporal Sundering is that if you target a creature and they somehow make it indestructible, well, we're dead, so. And I guess they could have nothing. I guess they could just deal us 12 here. And not have the third energy. The sixth energy, I guess.
Oh, no, we, we're dead anyway, actually, because they have infinite guys. Yeah, so we go block here. They go 6, 12, 14, exactly. So we, we died from our own deserts and from their deck being significantly more aggressive than ours. All right, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Nissa at all. I think Nissa's actually doo-doo. She does not do anything we want her to do. I do like a Ravenous Chupacabra. Maybe multiples. Oh, that's not going to do it. Um, I also like Blooming Marsh. Because we want black mana. I don't think this deck should be all basics. Like, we have plenty of basics. Or we have plenty of... Yeah, like, we're never going to run out of basics to search for. And our promise... Doesn't really uh, have to find basics, so... What are we looking at? Samoth Attested? What does this do? I mean, dealing two damage for a four mana Planeswalker is not really where I want to be, I don't think. Also, the plus one is basically a blank. Oh. Yeah, we're taking out the Muldrotha for something. Tatiova over Spring to Mind? Well, they do completely different things is the problem. Like, you want to be able to ramp like dating now and 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 stuff what are you saying right now i have no idea what you're saying justin i'm gonna cut that that guy comes out what's the other what's the blue green land bio it's gonna look a bio. That's gonna end well. That, that's not it. All right. I can't think of the blue green land off the top of my head. I think you're sending another chupacabra. I think chupacabra is good here. No, not Hinterland Harbor. The one that one that comes into play untapped on the first three turns. <laughs> yeah, let's try it like this. I think the two chupacabras is pretty. Um, botanical sanctum. There you go. I had the wrong. I'm gonna put two botanical sanctums in the deck. Like you want lands to come into play untapped on turn one and on turn two due to being able to cast these guys. All right, let's try this. So this is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 14 sources of green that come into play untapped on turn one. All right. The problem with Sylvan, Wake Sylvan Awakening is, is you actually just definitely want to kill them with the, uh, with the lands you have. Right? So, like, you're never going to be able to deal damage before you get to Sylvan Awakening, right? They're going to be at 20. We have no cards that really deal damage. So, you're going to you're gonna want to kill them with the Sylvan Awakening. Which sounds really dark when I say it like that. Mulligan again. You know what? Sure. This is fine. We got a blue here. We got another thing here, so... Gitu Lava Runner. I don't know if we want Maltani. That was kind of a 
I kind of said that just as like a throwaway, but I don't know. It could be good, could be not good. I mean, I, I wanted it in that situation because they had because it has reach, and then it could have blocked the stupid electrostatic pummeler. But in general, I don't know if it's actually wow. Elf every f every turn, huh? This guy's gonna get magma sprayed here. Never survives. Yeah, I just gave wizard's lightning. Wow. Make one of these guys run amok, and then we take seven. I don't know why we have a braid. I might just want fatal push in the main deck and a braid in the sideboard. Um, I think a braid is more, or I think fatal push is more versatile. Also, if we hit one a braid last game, it would have been very good against our electrostatic pummeler. But. <sighs> Oh, that's even that's even better. Take eight instead. It's okay, guys. We're still good. We're still good. In my opinion, Oath of Teferis seems like a bad card in general, just because what it does is expensive and and stuff. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I, I didn't think about that. The and and stuff really. Uh, Really did it for me. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. They have three cards in hand and we're at five, so. Get a rivulet. We can't get a mountain here, unfortunately. Have plenty of green, have plenty of black. Can't get a planes here either if we want the zombies. We do have another spring, so we can do that. Whatever. I mean, we have to assume they have invigorated growth and we're just dead, so that's my guess. Invigorated rampage, sure. Lightning strike, cool. All right. <clears throat> Fatal push comes in. Expertise comes in. Take out. Take out the oath. Take out the vile offering. Sunbirds. Two expertise might be fine. Yeah, take out Tezzeret. The worst part about these ramp decks is that like we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 cards dedicated to ramp. I don't think this deck needs 25 lands. I guess we can take out the Daragaz for keeping the sun Sunbirds invocation. I will play first. <sighs> we'll keep this. It's not a great hand, but I don't think there are... There's not many great hands against this deck. Like, you have to have, like, two removal spells to be fine. It's pretty okay, I guess. That's a big dude. All right, Blooming Marsh off the top is what's going to happen. 
making sure we can't play this ravenous chupacabra. They're playing on one mana. <laughs> it's just another ravenous chupacabra. Got it. Thanks. Considering they're bored, this is actually not terrible. Eh, we're going to get a green one way or the other. Sure. A little Bomad Courier. Man, a swamp into a Yanni's expertise would be gas right here. Well, that's like halfway there. Let's see what you want to give. I guess you're giving that spring to mind. Yep. So let's get one blue and one black here, I think. Double Chupacabra seems better than Temporal Sundering at this point, especially because we're probably losing this Karn. Take my hand! Well, Karn's going to get beat up pretty badly here. One, two, three, four. All right, all at Karn. I like it. Yeah, and he's one time. Vraska's Contempt, that's the wrong one. I think we can actually take a hit. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 if they have a pump spell. I'm going to go get a little crazy here. Because if we can go Nicol Bolas next turn into Verask, into uh, Yehenny's Expertise, it gives us seven possible hits. Or if we can go Nicol, Bo Nicol Bolas into... Uh, we actually wouldn't be able to cast Karn's Temporal Sundering because we wouldn't... Nicol Bolas would not have resolved by the time we cast Temporal Sundering. So... We'll see. We'll see. Nine is not terrible. Spring doesn't do anything. Choop just blocks one dude. And plus, if they have any removal in their hand, they can just kill it. I think I'd rather just have Bolas here. And then we get Sunbird. And then we get Yehenny's, which is just utterly insane. Uh, I actually don't want to do that. Exiles, two cards from your hand. That's how we do it. All 
All right, Yehenis is better than Veraska's Contempt against this deck for sure. Also, because of Yehenis' expertise and Grow from the Ashes, I wonder if Spring is just worse than Grow from the Ashes because you can't cast it off of that. This also does seem like a Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup, but again, like, I don't know our odds of actually keeping a guy alive at that point. Yeah, I think we're going to submit like this. This hand is pretty rough. Something happened to the mic sound? What is it? What happened to it? Doesn't seem like it. This is keepable, surprisingly, and that's actually great. All right, we'll do this. Can you guys let me know what happened to my Michael sound? Did you kill this guy on turn one? I don't know. Maybe. Sounds like it's in mono. Are you gonna, why don't you cry about it? Did you ever think about that? Got him. Since we have utterly no intention to block, I'm just gonna kill this guy and attack. And then next turn we have Choops. They wizards lightning my face? Wow. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Here we go. Never drawing a fourth land. I have one card. If we can hit a fourth land here. I don't think this deck is good for land of War elves. That's what I'm going to say right now. Uh, it forces your mana base to be heavily green. And the problem with land of War elves is that it gives your opponents targets that they otherwise don't have. So, like, they have no nothing to target with their Chain Whirler. They have nothing to target with their... Not, not that it targets, but they have nothing to hit with their Chain Whirler. They have nothing to target with their... Uh, um, with their Wizard's Lightning, stuff like that. Like, all these decks that have literally no targets for creatures, you give them targets all of a sudden. So, your Land of War Elf is never living. It's never surviving. I just think you have enough ramp. And, like, if you take this out, you get four slots for other things. And you get to play... Uh, you get to play better lands, basically, and not have to worry about these. So I think that's I think that's what you're doing. Like you want to survive. Like I th I think that's the most important part. And um, if you can do that, also additionally, ruinous blast would get rid of the elves as well. So it's kind of just better to not have that. Um, Sunbird's Invocation is really good. Chef to Chief actually emailed me and said, Spring to Mine is a non converted mana cost to add another Sunbird's Invocation. So we'll, we'll do that. Oh, when you when you play this. Oh, yeah, when you cast even just Spring by itself, um, it's nine converted mana cost. So that's pretty sweet. 
So I like two main deck Yehennies. Yehennesses. You're over here. And even though I think that even though you can play this on five, I think you just want it as a gift. Ah, but I don't like gift because if they kill the land or the enchantment, it's really bad. So that's, that's one thing I don't like. All right, so uh, when you cast when you cast Spring to Mind, Sunbird's Invocation sees, sees it as a nine casting cost spell. It's the same reason you take like nine damage off of Dark Confidant if you reveal this. A, conver a spell's converted mana cost is the total card. Actually, maybe that's not true. They changed the rules at some point. Interesting. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I like that less now. I, I don't think that's relevant. Like, I don't, I could care less about this. I, I'm more concerned with Sunbirds Invocation because it's just very good, especially with these late game cards. Um, and there's not a ton of answers for it in the format right now in main decks other than like cast out uh, I do like fatal push over because I think we're, we're primarily red or my, we're primarily black green rather so I can see putting two of these guys in the sideboard and then just adding more fatal pushes no not you the other, you're you're better looking. There you go. One, two. Why well, three woodland cemeteries over blooming marshes? Because I just think they're better when you have swamps. Or same with Hinterland Harbor. Because we're getting basic, so we should be able to play these untapped most of the time. The converted mana cost of a split card, such as cards with the Aftermath from, from the Amonkhet block, is based on the combined mana cost of its two halves. The converted mana cost of the resulting spell is based only on the half you... That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> That's literally... It's like it's saying both things. The converted mana cost is based on the combined mana cost. The converted mana cost is based on the half you cast. That's... Isn't that... That's like this... It doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm missing something, but... Um, all right, 24 lands, I think, where you want to be at with this many things. Actually, we do want to add one more because we did take out. Uh... The card itself is both added together. The spell is is different. Okay, so if you're casting it, it's different. I got you. That makes sense. Kind of. I also don't think Oath of Teferi is super necessary. Like, it's just a bad Karn's Temporal Sundering for the most part, right? Oh, Dan Omag, congrats on the Karn, buddy. Congrats on the Karn. Also, the Uncommon Cube is gone now, so that's unfortunate. Hmm... Huh. I like Chupacabra because of Oath of Teferi, but I'm not sure if we need it if we take out the Oath of Teferi. So we can actually take that out. Take those guys out. I think we just want more Planeswalkers, to be honest. Like, I think another Karn is great. Um, like, we have we don't have that many Planeswalkers, actually. The thing I like about... Um, what do you call it? gift overgrow is that it always taps for any color 
So let's do that. Yeah, these are the only planeswalkers we have. This is not a ton of planeswalkers. I like Spring to Mind better than Beneath the Sands. Like the only reason I the Beneath the Sands is is a, it's an instant, right? That's one of the perks. Now it's a sorcery. All it does is cycle. I mean, this also cycles. Like you draw two. I think this is just better in the long game. Also, being able to like even if you, if you have Sunbird's Invocation, you still have a six mana spell, right? Even if you don't cast Spring, um, you're able to play this. Willie G, please go, please go vomit elsewhere, buddy. That would be cool if you did that. I do kind of like Oath of Dis, actually. How is this deck moving toward the mono black deck? That seems, uh... Uh, Chef the Chief asked what happened to the Scattering Surveyors. Uh, the, the answer to that is that they don't ramp us to anything. It just puts a land in our hand, um, which is way too slow for anything we want to do. Like, there's no, there's no situation where you don't, you wouldn't rather spring to mind or Gift of Paradise to ramp. Is Oath of Nissa not standard legal? No, it was Oath of the Gatewatch. I'm thinking of, like, because you see Oaths and I'm like, oh. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to remember what cards are and aren't legal because there's so many changes. I would say one more Teferi, and let's. What are what are legal? Let's go type Planeswalker, format, standard. Hold on a second. I just got an email that says complete your invoice. Hold on one second, guys. Let me see if I can... It's an email directly from the site, so maybe they're just like... Maybe they pushed it through or something. But if not, I'm going to be pretty irritated. It just said my order is confirmed. Guys, I may have been able to get this after all. Oh my god. Guys. Guys, I think we did it. Guys. Woo! I think we did it. He said, hi, I, we hold some books back for cases like this. I just sent you an invoice. Oh my God. I'm so glad I emailed them. They have my business forever right now. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. The day is one, guys. The day is one. That is sick. Sorry to be late to the party. Thanks for working on my... <laughs> Chef to Chief. No worry, man. Uh, we're having a good time. Um, standard is what we were checking here. All right. Is chat trolling me right now? What happened? <sighs> All right. So.
I almost don't hate twat. <laughs> okay, I almost said twatly right there. That's not good. I almost don't hate Hwatley in this deck just because Hwatley is the dinosaur maker is pretty reasonable. Whew. Oh my god, I can't even handle like dude, what a change. What a what a like whoo. She does cost five. I think she could probably cost four and be fine. For five mana, don't we just rather have Tefries? Everything is terrible. 255, good customer service bug. Congrats on the bug. Oh, look, Mike just showed up just randomly. Just I'm going to just show up randomly. Well, that's, that's a thing, I guess. Are you laughing from the twatly? Is that what happened? I'm here for backup. Oh yeah, like a like I'm a police officer. Yeah, I like it. You're my you're my backup. If they sent you as my backup, boy, <laughs> we're in trouble. Um, do we want like more? We want more red sources, I think, for these. But I don't know. You have one planes so and more white cards. Yeah, but we're gonna add more planes, obviously. Duh. We we'll use some kind of. We actually don't need this many green sources anymore. We have Fandolin Harbors. I think we're gonna add one glacial. That's not how that works. That's not a planeswalker at all. Ooh. The hardest thing about this deck is the mana base. I think we're gonna five one... color spicy guys. Yeah, but we're trying to not die. So that's really our goal. Actually, we're gonna take out one woodland cemetery. You would cat you would cut a braids for cast downs. I could see that, but like a braid also deals with the artifacts, which could be problematic. I don't know. It does make the mana more consistent. You're not wrong. Actually, you're you're 100 right. I'll add one of those. I'll cut one of these. That leaves us with one mountain, though. That's not what we want to be. Oh, Mike doesn't care about Spider Man. He hates Spider Man. How dare you? Spider Man killed his family. I think Spider Man is okay. Wow, that's... All right, so there you go. All right. Destroy a non-legendary bro. We still need one card. Like, one more card that... Also, Tezzeret fixes our mana. Man, remember the days of three mana? I guess Golden Demise. We could, what if we play, like, one Golden Demise? I don't know. What even is that? What are you? What even are you? Uh, a humble man. <clears throat> you're a humble man yeah amazing humble man i like your humble man song thank you just kidding i hate it wow. and i hate you wow uh spider-man 800 it's just the 800th issue spider-man's been around for 70 years now so 800 like it's just a big number that's a lot so the issues usually cover price on comics are like, f why not just Bontus, Bonuts? I don't like Fumigate because double white for obvious reasons. Uh, I do like one treasure map. I'll add one treasure map and we'll, we can we can tweak it as we go. I just want another card in here so we can start playing. I feel like this deck should play a one of approach because with Sun Grace or Sun Sunbird's Birds. Invocation. Yeah. Sun Grace. Well, the problem is okay. So you play you have you play approach. The Sunbird trigger goes on the stack, and then you get to oh, look yeah. at seven. So it's always going to be seven down. Okay. Never mind. Not as good as yeah. I thought it would be. We need to fix the sideboard. We need to add more cards to the sideboard. I don't know what else to put in the sideboard of this deck. Did you just wake up, man? Something like that. Not really. I had to do some paperwork for that job thing. But Why is Appetite there? Because it deals with artifacts and enchantments? Um, why are you there? Think about that, Hoss Mania. Got him. Man, yeah. savage. Got wrecked. Unless you hit another approach in the seven, right? But if we're playing like one approach, um, That's so good. Yeah, actually, I do like Duress. Duress was a, a consideration earlier. The problem was that I didn't want to have that many black cards. I'll just add three Duress for now. So 
So is this like somebody's deck, or did you just screw this up? Uh, this is a this is a deck somebody submitted. Okay. So, let's see if we can get in this this bad boy. Hey, man, you want a raisin? This is actually a brick. Like this, this is all like. I was gonna say it sounded like there weren't many in there. No, yeah, it's it's just a solid brick of raisins. I don't know if you can. Oh listen. God! You hear that? Like it's just one. It moves as one raisin unit. I'll take a raisin. Oh, here we go. Here we go, old raisin boy. Oh boy, this hand is rough. Hunter, really? This is what you're begging for, raisins? Nope, this ain't gonna do it either. Raisins are not the enemy. Raisins are our friends. I just don't know if Hunter would really like them so much. I will mulligan this hand as well. And uh, we're going to keep on the Arch of Araska hand. And bottom that because despite being a land, it does nothing for us. So I think we've lost already, and that's unfortunate. Raisin nuts are just chocolate raisins, right? They're raisins covered in chocolate, yes. They're not raisins composed of chocolate. Hunter doesn't get any raisins. Hunter doesn't get raisins or chocolate. Don't give the dog raisins. They're poison to them. I don't know if that's true, but he ain't getting them. What up, ew, you're skinny? Oh, Iceman. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one. Iceman cometh. Iceman waketh up. <laughs> At fourth in the afternooneth. Wow, this deck again, huh? This old... Alright, we're just going to scoop here. We're not... <laughs> the not, colorless and one green source? Yeah. Doesn't seem too good. Alright, let's try again. <coughs> this deck playing colorless land seems really greedy. Yeah, I don't know if I like the Arch of Araska in here anymore. Scavenger Grounds, not really relevant as much anymore because there's not really that many Scarab Dot decks. Board. You know what? Alright, I'll keep this hand. Lead with this guy, into this guy, into this guy. I was watching Redo Feed where he was com committed to over committing to the main theme when testing. I'm sorry, I missed the beginning. I was watching Redo Feed where he was committed to over committing to the main theme when. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I'm sorry, I missed the beginning. Did you start with the, the start with sets of Elves, Springs, Born, and Skittering? Yes. Uh, well, I took them out initially because I took the Elves out just recently because it makes Elves are. I guess you couldn't hear. Elves are bad because they can't... Um, they just turn on your opponent's removal. If your opponent has things like a braid or fatal push in their deck or in their hand, you just turn them on. You play an elf and they just kill it because they have no other targets for it, so it's immediately killed. I imagine especially brutal for the red deck. Um, as far as Skittering Surveyor, my, my comment on that was that your deck is trying to do things on things like turn five. So by playing things like Skittering Surveyor, um, you're not actually ramping. You're just literally adding a land to your hand, which is not impressive. Um, whereas like a card like Grow From, Grow From the Ashes or Spring to Mind does that a lot better because it puts it into play. So you can go from turn three to turn five, which is much more impressive. So what did that fallout thing do? You didn't see it? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Why do I even message you? Unbelievable. Also, so like if you have a full set of elves, springs, born, and skittering, that's 16 cards in your deck. Um, along with 25 lands. So that's like 41 cards right there. Um, is that 41 cards? Yeah, that's 41 cards. So you have 19 slots left for things that actually do stuff in your deck. And that's not a lot. We're gonna top deck a Henny's expertise, but not have any way to cast it. We still need more black sources. Like, I'm frustrated because the mana base is really hard to get. I guess it wouldn't be that hard if we actually drew a three. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm gonna do this now before you have a chance to like. I mean, you can obviously pump one of them, but I just want to survive until we get to Hour of Promise. Oh, also Hour of Promise. That we, we added Hour of Promise over like Skittering Surveyor because it's just a better card. Did you not watch it? Do you want to watch it now? I was uh I was googling it. And well, it's all, it's a trailer. Card. So. Oh, a trailer. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. 
Apparently it's called Fallout 76. Yeah, they really skipped a bunch. Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout 76. Man. 71, they just skipped 71. And a few more. Well, 71 total, not number 71. (laughs) Come on, Michael. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to get a green. I guess I'm green and a black. I kind of want a desert of every color just so we can always get them with our promise. Because <clears throat> now we have to get two deserts. So we'll get Ifner and Hapshet Oasis. Yeah, that card's a lot better if you get the zombies. You're a lot better if you were smart. Got him. Did you? Got him. I'm not so sure. We got him. Wow, I can't even handle it that we pick these up. So, all right, here's the story. This issue mm-hmm. went on sale at 2 p.m. today, mm-hmm. right? For 40 bucks, 44 bucks, right? Had two of them in my cart. I was refreshing like the cover it. cover price? What? Was it the cover price? No, it's a variant. There's no cover price. Okay. It's uh, Spider-Man number 800, but it's a variant issue that, that's limited to 800 copies worldwide. Oof. So, I had 44. I had two of them in my cart, and... I was about to check out. It was like 2.01 p.m. They went on sale at 2 p.m. So I had two of them in my cart. I was like, ready to check out. And so it sends you... I have it set up so like... It, it, I don't have it set up this way. It just does this automatically. But it sends you an email, a text message with an authentic, authentication code that lets you check out uh, to verify your credit card to make sure it's you, right? So for safety precautions. Sure. So I, it sent it. I'm waiting. Waiting. After about 45 seconds, not even a minute, I would say. I'm like, all right, let me just change the payment method. I don't want to risk anything. This is still like 2.02, 2.03 p.m., three minutes after they've gone on sale. I go back to switch the payment method. They already sold out. Dang. I was fuming. Because then I checked eBay, and people were already selling multiple copies of them for 175 bucks. So I was like, this is un- this is unbelievable. Like, So... I emailed them, and I was like, look, I had these in my cart. It sucks. I don't know what happened. And then he was like, hey, Frank, we hold some books back for cases like this. I just sent you an invoice. Nice. And he let me pick them up. And I was like, oh, my God. That's amazing. So. Hey, Mike, I'm writing a paper for school about being Gotham. Can you tell me how it feels to be Gotham so much? What are the long-term effects you've noticed? (laughs) Oh, good time. Long-term effects. Undrum Tuna. Talk to you later, buddy. There really are none. Unless you're some kind of Mitch. Would you, um... Would you say that, um... I got him? No, that doesn't make any sense. That's fair, you're right. I made that, I'm sorry. Oh, alright. Now we got some things going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine, so we don't have... How do we deal with a stupid Hydra? Just block it, man. You can only do that for so long. I'll block it forever. Yeah, Brickbeard, there was a happy ending in the comic book story. Look at these tiny little raisins. Can we infer the pummeler and then cast down the Hydra? Yeah, we can do... We can also cast down something. Or block. We can block this guy. And then let when they go... Hopefully all in on this guy. We can just kill it. Oh, yeah. That also, because we don't have... We have black, black for Ifner. And um, we don't have another black for anything else. So, that's also why. What is this they're doing? Four mana? Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Huh? I hope the last card is larger than life. No, I don't, because I have to actually have a guy die before I kill this. That's unfortunate. Any thoughts? That's not a... <laughs> yeah, I got some thoughts. Thanks sometimes for asking. Sometimes me think. Sometimes I appreciate you don't. checking in on my thoughts. <coughs> Alright, so it doesn't have trample. This is interesting. Boom, 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 bo
Can you believe I gave someone my HBO Go info to watch Game of Thrones and they hated it? I feel like I should be giving... That's really awkward. Why would they... How could you hate that show? I don't know. It's just really good. It's so good. It's very good. It's a very good show. I think we have to actually block here. Actually, if we don't block here, we can actually, like, maybe get them to use their energy. I'll block here. And we're going to try to do some shenanigans. Uh, I'm up to date on season one of Westworld. I have not started season two yet. Come on, one time. This is what I wanted you to do. As long as you don't have Dive Down or the other card in your hand. Cast down. So unfortunately, we can't kill the Hydra here. Unless they use their energy for something cool. <laughs> if they had Blossoming Defense, they would not have. So I'm just going to... I want to push this down anyway because they don't have energy. So if we draw a Vraska's Contempt or something, like we have a lot of live draws. And they might have forgotten that it's a thing. They didn't forget. Dang it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're dead on board. Unless we can draw something good here. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. I'm just checking in on you, buddy. That's not going to do it. Well, we can draw a card. No, we can't. Why not? What do you mean? Oh, you, have to have, oh you have to have ten perms? Yeah, we have nine. Dang. I guess we could play Treasure Map. Activate this for five and hope we hit a fatal push off the top. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Five, six, seven. And then we get to kill this guy. Boy, I mean, we're not. I mean, we can we can shrink a cub. I mean, not forever, though. I mean, just until end of turn. That's not how that works at all. We have ascended. Hooray. Look at this beautiful... It's one thing when else you zoom in. If her dad lands. <laughs> I don't know why that was fun. Is it counters? Oh my god. I never knew that because I always just kill the thing. Why do you guys know these things? So they got two. So if we shrink this guy, it's a 1-1. One, one. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8. We go to 3... It's actually not terrible. It keeps us alive, so let's do that, I guess. We read the card. Got him. Get wrecked. Me, I got wrecked. Um, I wish I could read. That is me. That's me in 2018. Did we not tap four? I thought I tapped one, two, three, four. Activate. Kill this idiot. Sack the Ifner Deadlands. Ifner Dadlands. All right. And we still get to scry. All right, man. We're not dead yet. This is good. Unless they go dive down and then we die on board. So this guy becomes a 2-2 a two -two again because they have 2 energy. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to 2. Alright. This is how... This is how we do it. I think we're probably still dead. I don't feel good about our chances here. I mean, if they have 2... If they... This is, a, this is automatically a 2. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, come on. Maybe they don't do it. I have doubts. So the last two cards were Hapship Oasis and Arcane Flight. Sure. 
You got it. <laughs> All right. All right. We're just throwing away play points here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Me. Me would think so. Yeah, we definitely want more black sources. What does this deck do? Well, we're trying to figure that out, Jersey. You can also ask it in a less, less shitty way. Um, I like that you guys are just asking the same question. That's good. That's good. All right. Um, I don't like either hub because we have no way to make energy, so it's literally just a one shot. If we had like Servant of the Conduit in the deck, I could see adding either hub. If we had like Glint Sleeve Siphoner or something, that'd be cool. But, um. I think by itself, Aether Hub's probably not where you want to be. More like Aether Bub. N no. No, I don't think so, man. Come on, Bub. Low Bub? <clears throat> what does this deck do? Jersey said in a lunch show. Okay, well, that's good. Uh... That's, I don't, <laughs> it's the same question. I mean, what does any deck do, right? Like, if you got mono red deck, what does that deck do? It attacks, it does, it, it, it casts creatures, and it, it casts burn spells. I do like Fight with Fire as a one-of, but we have a problem getting two red sources because we only have one mountain in the deck, so let's, let's not do that. The Black Red Planeswalker is Angrath, and he's not very good. He's actually pretty bad. We have we have two wrath effects. We have Yehenny's expertise in the deck, and they get rid of most creatures that we've faced in this so far. Bontu's Lost Reckoning seems terrible because it just gives them an entire turn to re to rebuild. I actually don't think it looks terrible right now. Um, let's get rid of the scavenging grounds. Put it in the sideboard in case we really need it. I got the abrades. Bring in just a fourth Yeheni, because whatever. Um, let's bring Yeheezy. <laughs> yes. Oh, we already have one Glacial Fortress. Okay, okay. Let's get a black blue land. What's that? Drowned? Let's get a drowned up in here. Alright, cool. Let's do that. Let's try it now. Oh, we only have... We're missing one more land. We get a, we get a whole nother land. That's exciting. A whole nother land. Don't you dare close your lands. What? You still want to play that arch? Yeah, kind of. I think that was actually okay. Cut lives in two ribbons as a last. God, no. Cut my life in two ribbons. This is my last reason. So I get you no bleeding. No Just please stop. Okay. <laughs> Oh, a rootbound crag. Cascading cataracts. Done. That's a good one. That's an Ollie and I don't even have that card. Oh, I do have one cascading cataracts. That's an Ollie and Trolsey special right there. All right, let's do it. Let's try again. Try again. Try. Try again. Don't you dare close your lands is what American settlers said to the Native Americans. Good lord, dude. Woof. Michael had cascading cataracts when I first met him. I still do. Well, they don't go away. That's too bad. These raisins. I gotta break up my brick. Yeah, it's like a brick of raisins. Now it's stuck in your head. Yeah, it's going to be stuck in my head forever now. <clears throat> hey, man. Mm -hmm. How was your nap? <clears throat> I don't know if I call it a nap. What would you call it? I 
uh, hibernation. I feel like you could add Cathartic Reunions, Champion of Wits, and Liliana's, and you have a pretty sweet reanimator. That's a t- that's a totally different deck, though. What did you say you call it? <laughs> a hibernation. Oh, that's fascinating. Tell me more about this hibernation. There's really not much else to say. I said tell me more about it. Okay, it's when you sleep for a long time. Go on. And you... Go on. And you do a zoos. What? You do a zoos. You do zoos? Mm-hmm. You do a zoos. You do a zoos? And a zoink. You do a zoos and a zoink. And a snooze. Oh, God, he's really... He's not doing good. Opening hand, Big Daddy Bolas can't lose. Well, I hope that's true. I'm not sure that works the way you think it works. Search for Escanta. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, this deck plays that guy too? I put one in there because I think he's good for the mana. Like you can make your make your manas do the things. If you know what I'm saying. I think we just want another swamp here because we have double black. And we have the red and the blue, so. This Glacial Fortress was a good choice. Man, I'm so smart. It was already in the deck. No, I added it to the... It was our, I put it in the deck. Oh, okay. The deck originally had like a million basics. Can we get some ASMR raisin chewing? Yeah, buddy. You know it. We'll get hey, the excuse to eat more raisins. Oh, God. <laughs> That's disturbing. <laughs> good times, good times. What can they have? Single paid for one. Negate. I think we're actually pretty safe to play a Tezzeret here. Unless they happen to have main deck negate right Oh god, now. oh god, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> the smacking, it's so moist. <laughs> I must ask, have you ever chewed food normally? No, I don't think so. It's... Oh, look at that, we did it. And we're creating some Ethereum. Just like Daddy intended. What? That took up my eardrums in a smooth way. That's how we're. That's how we were trying to do. What do I recommend you do for dinner after you eat all your calories for the day at lunch? I don't know. You basically guess you're throwing up. Wow. Was that get some ice and raisins for the ultimate ASMR experience? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Um, let's keep that, and then we'll just play it and see what they do. Let's see what they do, shall we? Ethereum all day. Can't counter all my spells if you if I don't play any more spells. So let me have this. It's just lands. Who ever cares about lands? Frozen raisins. That sounds like it'd be... No, I'm just going to say no. Single paid for thrice. Okay, you got it. I didn't want those lands anyway. Daniel with the seven months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. This one goes out to the greatest ASMR duo of all time. I have my doubts that that's what this is, but I appreciate your... It's glorious. I'm glorious. Glorious Stefan. Oh, I'll keep that guy on top. That was glorious Stefan. Did you know that? I had a feeling. Oh, we got an emblem? Do we just make an emblem? Look how many artifacts we can make. I think we do. That seems pretty good. I, I almost mean, was... You could greed one more turn if you really want to, but... But boy, the emblem seems pretty good. Yeah. I'll emblem here. Oh my god, when you become a professional wrestler, it's going to be Glorious Stefan? That's amazing. Look what I did. I just created that. Oh, they could disallow this, but then we get to play Nicol Bolas. So, Mize, I guess. Oh, this is actually great. Oh yeah, that's fine. Boom. 
boom, 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 boom. Making them discard two cards is pretty good. I agree, especially if we can do that multiple times. But the problem is if we, we could, like, hit a Tefri or something or a Karn. Yes. And if they have a Tefri... Actually, that's pretty good. I accept that. Negative two? He doesn't even have a negative two. We could also hit a counter spell, four. sure. Like, all those are options, but I took the gamble because if they play their own Teferi, if they hit a land and then play a Teferi and they took Nicol Bolas, we're probably never resolving it again. So, like, they have five cards and they're missing land drops. Like, so they have five spells. They could easily discard, like, two counter spells or a counter spell and a settle the wreckage or something. It's really not a big deal. What's Nikki's alt? Uh, negative 12, each, exile each non-land permanent your opponent's control. It's never actually seemed super impressive. Because what are they, exile one search right now? Yeah, not good against them. At negative 12, it should just exile all the permanents. <clears throat> Use his slash five. <laughs> I'm going to use his uh, command six. Oh my god, you should definitely come out and be like, the rhythm is going to get you. Wow. That's amazing, dude. This glorious, glorious Stefan uh, wrestling meme is on point, dude. Oh, they missed a land drop. That's going to do it. Uh, no, I'll keep Derigaz. Derek is your dad. Do we just do it again? No, uh, now I want to start exiling because we have survived a turn with Nikki B. What did you exile? Oh, we can pl wait. What? Oh, until the end of the turn, you can cast those cards without paying its mana cost. One, two, three. Oh, so now we can play Derek as. Oh my god, that's gas. And if they try to counter it, we can disallow it without paying its mana cost. Oh my god, this could be so good. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. I hope they counter it, not thinking that. Oh boy, please. This is this is some juice right here. They still have six cards? How is that possible? Did they have eight last turn? Oh, we exiled cards from the top of the... Oh, I did the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. I'm not smart. I got the... I got the boluses confused. That's... That's my bad. Now, if they settle the record, you can also counter that. Yeah, I can counter anything I want. I have nipples, Greg. Can you counter me? <laughs> oh, that's a... That's a Karn Daddy. Actually, we can actually sack... Now nah, we're one shy. Do something end of turn. Anything at all. Yes. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> the value is so real. That was pretty sweet. They just gave us that supreme verdict. So it's basically like we did the, the negative two, right? Except we, I mean, we got the, we just exiled a supreme verdict and so a supreme will instead. Okay, so they didn't Tezzeret here. They do know about Tefri the Dissolol, but they probably didn't know how it worked. Sound like you said Dissolol. 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 Dissolol doggy. You're a little doggy. Thank you. You're welcome. So if we just attack with this guy and it resolves... I think we just shoot their face here. Let's go for the gusto. I don't know. I guess we attack first. See what happens. The problem is if Daragaz doesn't die if he gets exiled, it's bad for us. Here comes old Settle the Recce. Are you just taking this? Do you have Disallow number three in hand? Oh, you have super. You have a uh, Gear Hulk into Disallow. Sure. 
Well, let's find out if that's what if that's the case. Andy MTG, feel free to post a deck. I'm not sure if I can get to it, but you're welcome to post it if you'd like. Hmm. And that's the end. All right. So they just had five cards and six mana and nothing. I'm intrigued. All right. Fatal pushes come out. Cast downs come out. Yanni's yeah, expertise comes out. We can bring in negates. Duresses. And Vraska's Contempt, most likely, and the Scavenging Grounds. Well, that seems good. the rhythm of the night. to the morning light. Man, I didn't think I was going to get those books, man. Look at that image. Um, which one? Oh, the uh, the deck. Let's take a look at this, Beauty. Oh, is this a... Oh, it's a draft deck. Oh, right on. All right, so what's your question? Um, What did you say? Splashing Halar? Um, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I wouldn't mess my mana base up for one extra, one extra red guy. Deck looks good, though. Deck Thank does look you. good. Gunners, thanks so much. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Welcome back. Not much, but it's a start. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right, hold on. Let me see what else we can do here. I mean, I would definitely play one gift of growth in the deck. Like, you have multiples, and there's no reason not to. Yeah, this deck looks good, though. I would definitely be comfortable with this deck you only have one grow and you have song to splash your guys off of i don't know you might not actually be penalized from from playing it it might be fine deck looks good though so well this hand is interesting i'll still keep it i don't even care you're the madman what would you Thank oh, I was like, well, nothing. You have 22 cards, right? The deck you sent was 22 cards. P33, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, we're going to get the double duress. Double durettis. That's not what that card's called. Sure it is. Michael. <clears throat> what, Franklin? You're acting ridiculous. Isn't that how I always act? Yeah. I feel like we can actually wait till next turn. Because next turn they're going to be right right in front of a Karn turn, so. Hmm. That's a thing. I guess that was kind of a punishment for not dressing. I don't care about that guy. I got Vraska's Content. Blah. 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 We got a Negate. A glimmer and a cast out. And no other lands. Beep boop 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 beep boop boop. I like taking glimmer is correct. I agree, but I also want to take negate just so we can get rid of this guy next turn with Vraska's Contempt. Let's take the negate. Maybe they'll miss a land drop. They didn't. I mean, your deck has Song and Glimmer in it. Or your deck has Song and Gift, uh, Grow from the Ashes in it. I really don't think you need, uh... I think you're fine without... 18 lands. Why didn't we double duress? Um, I just rather... I don't know. I don't think it matters. I don't care about them having gift. Like, I'd rather just duress when they have... When they've drawn the cards from gift. I guess duressing the gift is the same, but... Or not gift glimmer. I'm getting all these cards confused. We're talking about Grow from the Ashes. We're talking about gift in the in the draft. And we're talking about glimmer in, in the standard match. I was also talking about his, his limited deck, so I wasn't completely thinking about it. But we do get rid of the, the Gideon here, which is good. Hello. 
Happy birthday to me. Wow, Leo Magic. Happy birthday, buddy. Really appreciate the uh the, the birthday bits to from you to me. Oh, that's a good one. Or it will be one day. One day. So now you have fill the room planes, trench with your help. Sure, we'll get rid of the cast out. Any red source would be great. And any by I mean by any, I mean we also have like four hours, th four gifts and three spring mines, I believe. So is that four and eleven eleven rampy cards and we haven't hit one yet? That's really sad. Here you go. Thanks. I wonder if they negate this. I wonder if this is negatable. Oh, it's not negatable. I'm pretty sure they just glimmer. They just torrential gear hook to glimmer after we played this guy, but. I mean, if they go to Gear Hulk, we're just going to exile the graveyards. I guess we can just pay the two. Are they going to disallow this? No, they don't. They don't have that. Now you get nothing. You satisfied now? You can never have these. I mean, if we if we don't play field if we don't play scavenging grounds, they just get to torrential gear hole glimmer. So I'd rather just play the scavenging grounds. How do you find yourself playing these decks? People commission them. Viewers and subscribers send me messages asking me to play their decks, and this was one of this is one of such decks. So, that's what we're doing. Much deck, wow. Wow. Hope you don't have a counterspell, I guess? That should be the name of this deck. Hope you don't have a counterspell dot deck. <clears throat> this card is very strong for us. I mean, they've only drawn two cards. We know they have Torrential Gear Hulk. They had planes, so they've had to... Draw one of the... They put a seal away in the graveyard, so their top card is random. Wow, really? <laughs> wow, take 10 years to negate that? What are you, crazy? Yeah, letting that resolve makes all your counter spells pretty bad, so... Yeah, I'll play a, a five-mana Teferi. I'll look at the top five and then a free card. Seems pretty obvious. And now they have a negate that. in the graveyard. One, two, three, five, six. That turns over your Hulk in hand. I have literally no idea. Why it took that long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I guess we can use green. So we don't have to. No green on you. One. Look at all this mana we have. Look at all those chickens. We know they have Gear Hulk and one other card in hand. Sure. What does Sour PLS mean? I have no idea what that means. Surprise. What? Surprise. That's how you pronounce it. So pleasey? Surprise. Do you not know how Sour is pronounced? Yes, sour plaze. Sour plaze? What's happening right now with your life? It is German? What does it mean, though? I don't know what it means. Are you, oh, you just deal. Oh, the other drawn two negates. Hey, right. man, what's that word mean? Oh, it's German. Wait. No, I asked you what it meant. Five? Do we just get the Teferi here? That'd be sweet. Like, we know one of their cards is Torrential Gear Hulk. Wow, that was an insane. That's really good for us. That's really good for us. Ooh, and you can tap the Gifted Lands? Oof. Um, it doesn't do anything now, but in the future we could actually 
draw with Arch. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. pretty cool. Jinx, you owe me a... Wow, they counted the treasure map instead of the... <laughs> it's hard to explain all these things. Is it does it equal sour plate? Is that what it means? I don't I don't I don't understand what's going on right now. Guys, I'm very confused. He's German. You're German. He's not German. No, I'm not. Remember the time we got to resolve this Teferi? Wow. Wow. So if he doesn't have a cast out. Oh, so it probably shows up in the um Oh, he had a cast out. Of course they did. <clears throat> like you do. Two, three. Yep, if we drew that this turn, it'd be in good shape, I think, but... They drew two negates when they needed them. They drew a cast out when they needed it. They drew a turn. Like, so they've drawn very few cards that they don't need and very, very many cards that they need. I guess we can just keep drawing cards here. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a card. That's okay. You can bounce it and get your thing back. That's true. Wait, what are they getting back here? There's literally nothing in your graveyard. Negate? Alright, in response to your negate, I'll kill this guy. <laughs> that was a weird choice. I have no idea what you... Now you get nothing. Now you do get nothing. And now we know you don't have this guy anymore, so that was cool. Yeah, the, they just like did that for no reason. That was very strange. They can just continue to pass the pass over and over again and we'd be in a really bad spot. Nezahal, sure. That's annoying. I mean, I get to resolve Sunbird's Invocation into a Karn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That seems good. If we had one more land, we could actually do both. but Or both of these. No, we couldn't, because we don't have a thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, draw your card. Draw another card. Why this way? I have no idea what you're saying right now. Oh, Karn take an extra turn. That's also good. Yeah, that would have been good too. You're right, guys. That was probably the better way. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was literally... My, my eyes were on resolving this because we got to. Just draw your card, man. But, I mean, the thing is, like, we wouldn't actually have an extra card with Sunbird's Invocation if we didn't um, play the Karn. So, I mean, like, we would have resolved... I like that you guys are subbed, but you don't use the actual lull that I made for you guys. That's sad. Thanks for not doing that. <laughs> um... Yeah, so what we're trying to do, I was like, if we played Karn and then Temporal Sundering, we could have bounced that, got it back. Yeah, that would have been much better. That would have been a that would have been a better play. I agree with you. Let's just make a blocker and see what happens. There you go. There you go. Get them lulls in there. Yeah, that was that was that was worse. What happened was worse. What I did was worse than the alternative. Do what I say, not as I do. There's a lot going on here, okay? Do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> Casual blink of an eye. And then we never got to play our Karn's Temporal Sundering. Wow, invoke the... Wow, that was amazing. I guess he's literally going to deal with everything we have. That seems good. 
That does seem good. Actually, I don't want to do that, but we don't really have an option otherwise. I guess we can draw a card. My god. Nezahal is really obnoxious against a deck like this. Actually, we could have a negate, so... Yeah, this is rough. I think we would have been in much better shape had we just played the other one. We didn't mind because I don't want them to draw another card. I'd rather just draw one if they don't get to draw another, so... I don't know how we deal with the Nezahal when they have five cards in hand, though. That's my problem. That guy's never resolving, right? I have my doubts. One, two, three, four, five. Especially when they get to do this. Draw a card. Sure. We're just down here. <laughs> All right. Well, we won the first game, so I think we can do we can do fine. I ain't scared. Messed up a little bit. That's what it is. You messed up a little bit. Did I? Every day. Tell me when. Every day. How so? How so what? How so I mess up? How so I mess up? Well, I think you just demonstrated, right? Maybe. We didn't draw a single negate, but they got they got like seven against us. That was pretty good. Negate seems pretty good in this matchup. This hand seems pretty bad in this matchup. This seems okay though. <coughs> One forest off the top would be nice. Let's all these lands come into play untapped. Dude, yeah, libel intel. You gotta relax, buddy. What'd you say? You got a red source now. I do, and a white source. And a blur source. And a turquoise source. Basically guild gates. Mm, when you say oh, that you only meant well But of course you did mm, you, you know that song? I may have. I don't really have an answer to this guy, so I'll just pop him in the negate zone. Daniel, have a good night, buddy. I'm going to just put gift on this one. If they hopefully they tap out for something stupid, and then we can sunbirds in vacation. That's gas. Did you say a turquoise horse or a turkey source? Uh, yes. What about a turquoise horse? Did you ever think about that, smart guy? What about a turquoise turkey horse? What, what about a turkle McJerkle McMichael? You're a turkle McJerkle. What about the last part? You didn't think about that one, did you? No. Yeah. Yeah, they have one they have one energy though, so I'm not too concerned with it. Now we can probably resolve this if they don't have a thing. They have another Aether Hub, but that only works for negate. You only work for negate. Who it does negate right work for? What are the odds they got another negate? Why don't you sunburn? Sunburn? Mm, sunburn. Because they're gonna have it. They got six cards. They could also have they could also have supreme will, so. Oh yeah, that's also a card. Or even try to fool ya. Oh no. Bingo. Cast down gets sunbird. I have no idea what you're saying right now. 
Wow. You're gonna aggressive. You're gonna regret that. Let's get down to business to defeat your mom. Wow, that's rude. This is what I like. And we're at twenty six. We can't lose. Don't think you want that. I don't actually, but I know it's gonna be a land on top, so I just I'm like cast out. There you go. I was like cast down. I don't think that works the way you think it does. Sunburns invocation. Why is Mike so rude to Mama Frank? It's so rude. I don't know. I you gotta ask him. Oh, double invoke, so now I get to just play Sunbird's invocation here? Because I'm a rude boy boy. Come on, rude boy, my Emma. Alright, I have no cards in hand, but whatever I draw, it's coming down, boy. Let's see if you got a third uh third invoke. They do. They always do. <laughs> oh, they drew another planes? Brutal. Here we go, you ready? Big big thing. That's a little too big. It's a little too big. That's too much of a big boy. You need two more lands for that guy? Yeah. Or land in a gift. They hit another planes? How is this real life, man? Alright, something something a little more Dang. Mm, what you say? Oh wow. Off the top if new rivulet. It's a little too late though now that I got the invocation. Alright, so one more land. And we can Zakama, Primal Calamity. What are you gonna do? Glimmer is pretty good for you. Especially because it turns on your Aether Hubs. That's awkward. Not thrilled about these, these situations. Torrential Gear Hulk into Invoke the Divine. Which in, we will respond with Varaska's Contempt. One, two, three, four, five, six. And get a free spell off of it. Intriguing. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, we're not going to be able... It's not going to resolve for sure, but... One, two, three, four, five... Wow. Whiffs for days. Seems good. <clears throat> Feels bad, man. This is where the... Feels Batman? Feels Batman. That was not... Not ideal. Less than ideal, Chef. My name is Chef. What? My name is Chef. <laughs> Prove it. I need you to procure a birth certificate for me. Wait, you the president? <laughs> yeah, obviously you had this. I don't know what took you. What took you so long, buddy? He didn't want to use his, his energy juices. You're going to negate this? Isn't it just better to invoke the Sunbird's invocation? Man, I'm not a, I'm no expert, but that seems worse. Who cares about me getting two extra lands? I don't get it. He knows you have a Zakama. No one knows that. <clears throat> Is energy a juice? Yeah, man. Totally. Oh, you're just gonna blink it. That's cool. You're a cool dude. Did it have haste? No. Oh, we untap all the lands though. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I guess we're just gonna play it again because we're a sucker. No, it just resolved immediately. All cast out. Okay, like, buddy. describe energy to me in its natural state. It's uh, it's like your juice, you know? It flows. And it zaps and it buzzes.
It flows and it zaps and it buzzes, guys. Oh, that's annoying. I don't even care about that. I don't even care about that stupid cat. They just try to tap one more to when it was already played. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Land. Let's go blue. Sun Birdles. <clears throat> oh, two negates. Fantastic. Nope, don't want to cast any of those. Just let it resolve, that's all. You only have you only have two blue anyway. What problem is? Oh, cool. How many negates can they draw? All of them, Michael. At least it untaps land. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. You have to actually, uh, you know, do the thing. Alright, so this is the only thing we can cast outside of you. So we'll play this first, see what we hit. Duress. So we're still dead. Yep. All torrential gear hulk that. I guess now we can hit something off Raskas, but I doubt it. Oh, I see. You just have multiple things. Well, Supremo is the only thing we care about here, so. Maybe get here black, green. Doesn't matter. Whoa! The hits are real, boys. So we know your hand is <clears throat> these four that we don't care about. This is where you glimmer. Sure. But you have one blue now, so it has to be literally negate or supreme will. Oh, they put both on the bottom, so that's good. Blink their cat. Sure. Seems good. We didn't die. You're right. We didn't die. You're right. Play cat again. Cat again. Take four. Go to two. Cat again. Cat again. I got a cat again in the muscle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like this is a play if we can resolve it. It's our only hope. Help me, Zakama. You're my only hope. I come on, let's go. I know it's all here. For nine. <clears throat> come got on, any come rats? On, come on, come on, come on. It's when you cast it, too. Oh, it's when it enters the battlefield. Oh, if you cast it. Okay, yeah. So, I guess I just hope you didn't draw a uh, two, two counter spell in your hand. We have no wraths, but we have temporal sunderings. No matter what happens, we're doing cool stuff here, guys. Oh. Wait. I can't cast that, it, but it's highlighted. That's kind of funny to me. Okay. Well. Is it Hour of Promise? We still won't make dudes, though. You're right. But I think it's correct. Oh, well, I could play Tezzeret. What are we doing here? <clears throat> Duress actually could be good because it gets away like... All our lands are going to untap, so we can actually kill a bunch of their guys. But we're at two.
I got a toot toot down in my heart. Probably want to get a red. Why? Um, Zakama's ability. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, it's also gain three life too. I forgot about the gain three life ability. That thing is huge. They could still just counter this. Actually, this is hilarious if they just counter this. Come on. Okay, Jesus. Oh, waste my... F Come on, dude. Getting duress doesn't matter because they just respond to the duress by dissolving Zakama while it's on the stack. Like, it doesn't actually change anything. Like, if we get duress and, and, and Zakama ends up untapping because of it doesn't work that's not that's not how things should go either way this deck was super sweet to, to play i had a good time doing it um the the unfortunate part is i don't think this can exist as a completely color uh completely basic land mana base you're just gonna have lands that don't do what you want more often than you want to um so you have to actually skew it towards more like the hour of promise ramp decks which are pretty common in um pretty common in you know they were common in standard before dominaria but uh, I don't know if they're still good now. As you can see, Sunbird's, in Sunbird's Invocation could be very, very good or very, very bad. As a six-mana spell, you might just want things that are a little bit more proactive. Like maybe an like a, if we had another Vraska instead of a Sunbird's Invocation, it'd probably be a little better. Um, but really, you're just playing a deck that has big creatures like Daragaz and Zakama and big planeswalkers like Nicobolas, Vraska, Teferi, etc. And that's pretty cool. I think that's good enough. Um... I would actually play it something like this and just tweak the numbers a little bit for... Uh, I, would, I would probably take out the Sunbird's Invocation. And if you do that, you can probably take out the red altogether, which is pretty convenient. But um, I don't know. I could see this deck making... This card is an Amonkhet, unfortunately, an Hour of, hour of, hour of Devastation. So it's going to rotate in September before Ravnica's legal. Um, same thing with like both of these other ramp spells as well. But, um, yeah, deck seems cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, Chef to Chief, thank you so much for letting me try it out. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued by me, check out my Twitch profile. The information's below. You can also slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you guys next time.